Hi there, welcome once again to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great, the great Derek Para today on the channel from 2002. He set the Olympic and world record in this particular race, the 1500. Expected to do well, but not that well. So many, what, what makes Derek great? So many things. Gritty and determined, tough background, not in speed skating and inlining. And then he followed in Casey Boutier, the pioneering Casey Boutier's footsteps or boot steps onto the ice and only a few years, about five, six years later, was at the top of his game. And this race uh, displays a lot of great things. His turns are amazing. His this great agility move, we'll see that actually kept him in the race because he may have been DQ'd had he not done it. And just really, really great fitness, great laps. So let's look at Derek here. And this is a, a secondhand uh, video of it. I couldn't find any of his actual race that was better than this, but it's good enough. So a strong opener. He's only 5'4", 136 pounds. In metric, that's 63 kilograms and about 1.6 meters. But you can also already see that great turn. Look at the distance per stroke he gets in the straightaway too for such a small guy. I mean, just really going far. And look at this extension, really excellent extension here and great sitting position. Derek was known to do these endless jump, two to three hour jump programs. No one could keep up with him, nobody. And they really, really proved to be successful on the ice. Just had a lot of jumpy power and good sitting position. So again, look at the timing. One skate on the ice. And so deep, just so deep down there. Love it pressure on one skate. He's got really long blades for his height, which is a variable you want, might want to look at if you're not that tall of a skater. Um, this may have helped. I haven't asked him, but it may have, so you might want to look into that. Might give you more grip on the ice, but this is this is like a short tractor here. Unbelievably deep. He's getting everything out of his skating that he could, for sure. Set up to the turn, nice, it's about halfway out. There's Stephen Elm on the outer from Canada, trying to keep up. This is great here. Watch, he touches the ice like in short track. That's how low he is. I mean, look at that lean, incredible. He's touching the ice, I love it. But just look at the drive. We've talked about these lines. Really great drive forward, and he's right on that skate right away. Look at that severe blade angle, incredible. And this was in the early days of the collapse, so we have to remember, everyone didn't, we still don't know exactly what that machine does, but we're learning. Derek's first lap, 25-4. I just want to fast forward to a couple things. Again, great turns. Let's look at it straight away here. This is great. Strong exit, no delay, right on the skate. A little more in the middle with his body than skaters are now. You can see that here. However, he's got a way of getting right on that skate really early nonetheless. He's done with this left and leaving it behind. You can see that riding a very, very clean edge, extremely clean edges all the time with Derek. And you can see there's no waste here. He's putting it in and moving onto that skate. Very flexible, worked on flexibility a ton and you can really see it in that straightaway. What I want to show you is right there. Had he not done that, he wouldn't have been in the race. So this is like an inline move. So versatile athletes can come through at things when others couldn't. So had, had should he have planned that entry better? Perhaps. However, he got here. He said, what am I going to do? I need to not go by that cone with my skate, so I better stutter step here and get it out. And it was amazing. So a really great move there by Derek that saved him the gold medal and the Olympic and world record. So from there, it's a great race. And I just wanted to showcase Derek because he's such a great athlete. You can find this on YouTube if you want to look at the whole race. But he goes five, six, seven, and wins the gold and sets a world record and just has a great, great race.
Got to see the smile on his face when he finishes. Again, putting his skate down all the way through to the end. 143, 95. Tremendous performance for such a great competitor. Something we can all learn from his determination to win. Exacting training standards, exacting standards of himself. So that's it for this edition of Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great, the tremendously incredible and still contributing to skating at a very high level, Derek Para. We'll see you next time.